What's up, YouTube pipe smokers? Chet and Nick here again for another Chet and Nick show. What are we smoking at, Chet? I think we're smoking Ancestor. Uh, yep, Ancestor. Came in this real fancy uh, plastic bag right here <laughs> that, like I used to get from the 70s when I was younger. Uh, but anyhow... We know nothing about that tobacco. We, we, have, we have absolutely no We've idea. We've determined that it's not an aromatic. But it's got a good sweet taste to it, so it's got to have some Virginia in it. And, um, and that's about all we know. And our audience today... That's good, though. What do you think? I haven't even lit up yet. I'm sorry. I uh, haven't tried it yet. Um, I'll, you'll be able to see me try it for the very first time. You'll be able to see the reaction in my face and my eyes because the rest of me is just dancing around when something's really good. Well, uh, light it up! Oh, excuse me. Oh, I was talking. I wanted to say hi to the uh, mimes from the Mime High School in uh, Denver, Colorado. That's our audience today. They're all clapping. I don't know if you can hear them. They're going like this. And there's one of them stuck. He's stuck in a box. Well, that in there just give you a gesture. I don't know if that's a good gesture or a bad gesture. No, I think he's choking. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be terrible if you were a mime and you were actually choking. Yeah, that was terrible. And <laughs> he's he's going, going, look, look. And then another one's going fake CPR. <laughs> Go ahead and talk. That's cruel. Man, that's cruel. Oh, man. So, anyway. Yeah, we're uh, drinking some uh, home-roasted home coffee. Got no name for it yet. We got one roast that we named Sadie's Brew. The rest of them are just, I guess we call them A, B, with, say, I, a, B C, and D, E. Well, I, I, we had that Carolina Red that I named. Yeah, What'd you do with it? Huh? Oh, you didn't like the name, did you? I didn't like it. Carolina Red. Why is it red? What about Carolina Blue? Anyway. Because Carolina Red just rolls off your tongue. Carolina Red. Anyway, guys, don't forget about the contest. Got seven more days left, and uh, we'll be drawing the uh, name of a hat. It's for the winner. I think we have six. Winner takes all. Six VRs. Is six, that right? Six or yeah, I think it's six. Yeah, we got a got a hundred and twenty-seven subscribers now. Woohoo! Hey, got a phone right. call this morning. And said, hey, we hit one twenty-seven. <laughs> But uh, also, uh, I thought we'd have a lot more VRs, man. So you guys got a good chance of winning. You know that? Mm -hmm. What's so, that? Uh, six and a hundred. What is that? Eighteen percent. Fifteen percent. How about, yeah, 20 percent? No, that's five. Twenty, twenty-five. About sixteen. About sixteen. Yeah, about sixteen. Not bad. So, so anyhow. So, anyway... Let me get this lit, and I'll tell you what I think about it. I'm having right. a hard time. I, I'm always having a hard time getting mine lit. Look at the spoon. You know that spoon reminds me of? It's the mix of sugar and cream in this coffee. That reminds me when I was uh, young. My dad's a minister, and uh, he wanted to know if I wanted to go with him to visit a shut-in couple. What? Not, no, you're not telling that story. Because I'm going to tell the story that he's going to play off of. Let me tell you what my friend of 30 years did to me. We were putting in, or actually he was putting in, a ramp over to Miss Sadie's house. And I didn't show up for three days to help him. And he had it almost done. And he was still putting the... He was still putting the... Uh, the railings on. I show up and I come up here and I sit down on the porch on the deck where Miss Sadie always sits but she had gone to the store and this buddy of mine says to me hey Chet why don't you try some of those peanuts that I brought Miss Sadie so I reach over in a bowl beside of me and I start eating these peanuts right Miss Shape, Miss Sadie shows up, comes up there, and she says to me, she goes, Oh my, you're not eating those peanuts, are you? And I said, Yeah, why? I said, Nick told me to go ahead and eat them. She goes, Oh, he brought me over some chocolate-covered peanuts, 
but I couldn't eat them with my false teeth, so I just sucked the chocolate off of them and put the peanuts in the bowl. Next time you know, come on over and give me a hand. I almost <laughs> threw up. But uh, that's the kind of friend I have. He thought it was hilarious. So, now you can tell your, your story that you were going to play off of mine. And, it, and I know this story, and it serves him right. Go ahead, right. there. But anyway, I was saying my dad's a minister. And uh, we had a you shut-in couple, it, an old, old way, couple. Acts. Old couple that couldn't attend church. So my dad goes over and visits them, and I go with him. Well, the time we get there, they're getting ready to sit down for dinner. So they ask us to join them. My dad, being a Baptist minister, of course, he's going to sit down and eat. <laughs> so uh, they don't get fed very often. Anyway, this is not not to be making fun of anybody, but it was an old couple, probably in their late 80s, early 90s. Well, he was unable to feed himself. So his wife would feed him. That's why I brought up the spoon here. She'd sit beside him. And she would feed him his food. She'd smash it with a spoon and she'd give it to him. And as he was eating, it would kind of ooze out the sides. And she'd get that spoon and like rake it back up in there like that. You didn't touch your face with it, did you? Because I, I, I might have me another cup of coffee. We tell the story. I'm sorry. So, anyway, we're sitting there eating and I'm trying not to look the fella because he's got two permanent tobacco stains right here. Must have chewed tobacco his whole life. And uh, she's sitting there trying to feed him, and it's kind of oozing out the sides, and she's scraping it back up in there, kind of like you did, would do a baby. And uh, I'm trying to eat. I finally get my plate clean. And uh, she asked me, says, you want anything else? I'm like, no, not really. And I looked over to the bowl of beans, and the bean bowl was empty. I'm like, those were good beans, though. Too bad you're out of those. I wouldn't mind having some more of those. <laughs> so what she does... She grabs her husband's plate with his spoon that she's been feeding with and scrapes that bowl, I mean his plate of beans, into my plate. <laughs> and my dad's sitting right there. I was thinking to myself, do I want to get a whipping if I don't eat this? Or do I eat it? <laughs> it was a hard decision, but I did. I kind of smoothed it around in a plate, kind of spread it out, make it look like I'd eat a bunch of it. But I did take a bite or two of it, but... I think I knocked it off on the floor. That was terrible. That was, oh my that's God. a true story. That was, oh, oh, yeah. I'll never forget that day. So anyway. Oh, man. That's, I mean, that, you know, that's almost as bad as somebody eating peanuts that uh, <laughs> somebody sucked all the chocolate off of. You know that? No offense, Miss Sadie. No offense, Miss Sadie. You know, I, I've kissed you a couple times, but. Uh, mm hmm. You, you and Miss Sadie had swap slobbers every night. <laughs> anyway, what else happened, Chet? Nothing much. Um, nothing much going on on the farm. Uh, just been sitting around waiting for you to get that uh, ramp done over to Miss Sadie's house. I'm almost done with it. So I can come over there. You coming over tomorrow night? For what? You Finish have, it up. I got to get the railing on it. I thought you got that done. I didn't. I didn't, gotta you didn't take put it. all the spindles on yet. No, I gotta take it, redo it. You don't like how you did the spindles? No, it ain't. I don't like it. The inspectors don't like it. Why did you get it inspected? It's under. You have to. It's right it there. Under open. You gotta get it inspected. So, so I gotta redo that. Sure would be nice to have a extra set of hands. Oh, Miss Sadie's right there. She's only <laughs> eighty-nine years old. I'm not going to hold a nail while she drives it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they got needle nose pliers. <laughs> oh, man. Finally got the cold weather here. Yeah, it's kind of chilly. Oh, Nick, uh, do you want to tell them about how you uh, took all the stuff out of your house and put it in your man cave? No, that's stuff I had in the, uh, the uh, we used to play poker. We had a poker room. And uh, I just took a lot of that stuff out of there and brought it over here. Thought I'd give it a little bit livelier background here. 
So, I think it looks pretty good. I like it. Did your son play for all them different teams? <laughs> uh, your son was a good uh, baseball player. He was, yeah. He was. He was really good. It's a shame that he didn't take his uh, college scholarship, but he decided he wanted to join the Navy instead. So, that was good. Mm-hmm. Yep. But, uh, but I think you, uh, I think you got ran out of your other cave, didn't you? Pretty did, much. Did, yeah. did something pretty happen much. over there? Yeah, pretty much. What happened over there, Nick? I had to make a little craft room for my wife and granddaughter, so they get my stuff out of there. Told you to start using that place. You wouldn't go over there and sit. I like this room here better. It's cozy. It's comfortable. It's because it's where she told you to go. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Where's our poker well, table? I threw it away. They got in bad shape. How can our poker table get in bad shape? Where'd you put it at? bad shape. It just the 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 vinyl stuff. Well, I mean the felt stuff came loose and everything. It's just it wasn't repairable. So you know, yeah. We used to play poker every Thursday night here, and uh, there was like five of us used to come regularly until we started losing so much money to each other that our wives told us, "That's it, no more poker." <laughs> so. Calvin, Calvin did good, but I'll tell you the best person, and, and he's gone now, and he was a good friend of ours, mutual friend, was Jerry Robinson, professional poker player. In fact, he'd gone out to Las Vegas a couple of times and played, and every time I saw his uh, car here, if he was here before I got here, I did not want to come in. Did he ever lose? I don't think he did. But, uh, yeah, let's salute Jerry. Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right. Here's to Jerry Robinson, buddy. We really miss you. You're a good friend. Been gone about five years now. We really missed you. Salute. salute. All right, Jerry. He was a good guy. Okay. You got anything else, chat? That's all I got, bub. So... Oh. Next time you guys are out there and you're getting ready to eat some peanuts, you better check them. Find out some uh, details on them. <laughs> so, uh, oh, and also I'd like to say, I don't always smoke, but when I do, I smoke a pipe. All right, then. Take care, pipers. Live free or die.